Logging in. To start using SpotOn's Restaurant POS Terminal, touch anywhere on the screen and log in with your employee code. If this is the first time you've logged in for the day, it'll be treated as your clock in. So choose the job position that you're working during that shift. Add guests to a table. Once you've logged in, the start screen will appear, where you can click on a table to start an order. Clicking on a table will cause the menu screen to appear. In the upper left corner, the system defaults to one guest at the table. To add an additional guest, click or tap above guest one and the ticket commands window will open. Select the command button, add guest. This will cause two guests to now appear in the left panel. To add multiple guests at one time, click above guest one again to open ticket commands and select the command button, change guest count. Select the total number of guests at the table. In this example, four and four guests will now appear in the left panel. Add order item to guests at a table. Select a menu item, for example, almond crusted calamari. A prompt will appear to designate which guest ordered this item. A single guest can be designated, all guests can be designated to get one order each, or one order for the table to share can be selected, as in this example. To select menu for each guest, select the guest in the left panel. In this example, starting with guest one, and then select the items ordered by this guest from the menu screen. In this example, guest one has ordered a house burger. Selecting the house burger button opens a modifier screen with items to be specified. Two orange blinking dots will appear at the top left side of the screen. The smaller orange blinking dot specifies the menu item that is currently being modified. And the larger orange blinking dot indicates the modifier that needs to be specified because a minimum of one selection is required on that modifier. In this case, meat temperature. The done button will not be active until all the minimum selection for all modifiers has been met. In this example, medium has been chosen as the meat temperature. Continuing with the other modifiers, no, light, and on the side can be chosen for the standard toppings. In this example, no ketchup and light mustard are chosen. Additional add-ons such as cheese and other toppings in this example can be selected if desired by the guest. Moving down the modifier menu, there is an area for quick notes to be added by clicking the buttons presented. The notes area will only accept manually created notes that can be typed in. These notes pertain to the menu item. Below the menu item notes are notes pertaining to the modifiers selected. In this case, meat temperature, ketchup, and mustard. Here, the reasons can be provided for the selection. In this example, the guest has a ketchup allergy. Once all of the modifiers have been addressed, selecting the done button at the bottom of the screen will complete the item. In the left side panel, the menu item for guest one is displayed with the modifier abbreviations. Our example item, house burger, also has a side choice available to the guest. The 10 available side choices are displayed. Notice there's a minimum of zero side choices and a maximum of one. If the guest declines a side, the done button is available to leave off any side. Some side choices may also have modifiers, such as Caesar salads, that will need to be reviewed before finalizing that choice. In the case of the Caesar salad, all of the modifiers have a minimum of zero, so none of them are required. However, in this case, Caesar dressing is out of stock, so the guest has selected balsamic vinaigrette. Once all of the selections have been made, done can be selected at the bottom of the screen. The Caesar salad also has protein add-ons available for selection, but not required. In this case, the guest does not wish to add protein, so done can be selected at the bottom of the screen. With guest one's order complete, the remaining guest orders, starting with guest number two in our example, can be entered. Guest two has selected a BLT sandwich as is, selecting BLT from the menu screen, then selecting guest two from the pop-up window, and then fries from the side choice window completes the order for guest two. Removing guests from a table. Guests three and four need to leave for another appointment and are not going to order. Selecting guest four reveals the guest commands to remove or rename the guest. In this example, remove is selected. This same action is used to remove guest three. Placing order items on hold. Now that the order is complete for all guests at the table, the guests would like to start with their appetizer, but hold off on their entree. Select the entrees, turning them blue. Then select hold from the item commands window that will appear. An on hold label is now placed on each guest entree. There is a green dot next to every item on this order. This indicates that none of the items have been sent to the kitchen for preparation. Select the send button in the bottom right corner to send the items to the kitchen for preparation. After the send button has been selected, the table layout will appear. The table where the order was just sent to the kitchen is turned green, indicating that there are items that have been sent to the kitchen. But there are also dark green stripes across the table. 
This indicates that there are some items still on hold that have not been sent. Click on the table again and the order details will appear on the left panel. Releasing order items on hold. To release the items on hold, select each button on hold. Then select the release button in the item commands window that appears. The send button in the bottom right corner is now available. So select send to send the remaining items to the kitchen for preparation. Clicking on the table once again to review the order, notice that all the green dots have been removed, indicating that all items have been sent to the kitchen. Options for paying a check. When the guests are ready to pay, they can each receive a separate check to pay for their own meal and split the cost of the appetizer. To split the cost of the calamari, select the item and then select split from the item commands window that appears. A split item between guests will appear confirming that both guest one and guest two will share the cost, then select split. The left panel will now reflect that the guests are splitting the cost of the calamari. To generate a check for these guests, select the payment button in the bottom right corner of the screen. One check for the total amount will be shown at the top of the screen. In this example, each guest wants to pay for their own meal. To get each guest a check, select split by guest at the bottom left side of the screen. Two checks will appear at the top of the screen that represent the amounts owed by each guest. Select check one. The default payment method is credit card, but other methods such as cash and gift cards may also be selected. If cash is selected, bill selectors are available for speed in entering in an amount, or the amount of cash provided can be typed in on the keypad. In this example, the $20 Intella bill has been selected for check one. Select the apply button next to the pad. The amount tendered and the change due to the guest will be presented. Touch the screen to clear. Select check two. In this example, cash is also the selected payment type, but the exact amount has been provided by the guest and is typed into the keypad. The result is the amount tendered in the exact amount owed and the change due is zero. Touch the screen to return to the table layout. Creating an order without a table. In this next example, an order is going to be started without selecting a table first. Select the menu button in the lower right corner of the screen. Start an order by clicking on a menu item. In this example, beverage, beer, and wine. The order is for three bottles of Bud Light. Use the quantity bar to the left of the menu items to identify the quantity, three, and then select the button Bud Light. These items will be coming from the bar. To get that order going, select the quick send button at the bottom left side of the screen. The green dot to the right of the item in the left panel will disappear. The order has been sent to the bar. To continue ordering items, select the starters, mains, and desserts button at the bottom of the menu screen to change the menu and display those items on the screen. In this example, the spinach and artichoke dip has been selected and the modifier pita bread choice has been selected. Select done after making this choice. The send button has also been selected to get this order to the kitchen right away for preparation. The screen then returns to the table layout. This order has not yet been associated with the table. To view this order, select the list orders button at the bottom right side of the screen. Then select the order when it appears. The far upper left portion of the left panel with the order item shows that this is a quick sale. Assigning a quick sale order to a table. To assign this order to a table, select the area below quick sale and the ticket commands menu will appear. Select transfer to transfer this order to the server serving the table where the guests will be sitting. To transfer tips, select yes at the prompt. Transferring orders requires manager approval, so a manager pin must be entered. Notice that the order has now disappeared from the list orders view because it has been transferred. Logging in as the new server, Jack in our example, the order will display in list orders as a quick sale. To move the guest to a table in Jack's section, select just under quick sale at the top of the left panel, and then select the ticket command, move to table. When the table numbers appear, select the appropriate table number. Now, in this list orders view, the order has been assigned, in our example, to table number 24. Adding additional items to an existing order. To add additional menu items to this order, select the menu button at the bottom of the right side of the screen. In our example, a BLT has been ordered with the modifier light tomato. After selecting done, vegetables has been selected as the side. Additionally, chicken marsala has been ordered as is. After selecting done, the side choices are loaded. This guest wants a house salad as the side with no bread and light balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Selecting done, the guest then has the option for a protein, but does not want one. So done is selected once again. The final item is now complete. Sending order items to the kitchen for preparation. To send all of the items to the kitchen for preparation, select the send button at the bottom right side of the screen. Selecting list orders at the bottom right side of the screen, the order is now visible, listed at table 24. And to see the table, select table layout at the bottom right side of the screen and then select 
dining room to view the table, which is shown as a solid green color, which indicates that all items ordered have been sent to the kitchen for preparation. Select the table to view all the ordered items in the left panel. Splitting orders on a check with only one guest. When the guests are finished with their meals, they indicated they all wanted to pay separately. To accomplish this, select the top left panel and choose Ticket Command Manage. Next, select Add Guest at the bottom left side of the screen. For our example, two guests will be added. Select an item to move and then select the guest to assign the item. Repeat the process until all the items have been allocated. This process has been completed in Guest View as shown at the bottom right side of the screen. Select the Guest View button to change the view back to Check View. Because these guests want to pay separately, select the Split by Guest button in the bottom left corner. This will display each guest side by side with their own bill. Select Done at the bottom far right side of the screen. However, the Bud Lights have not been split among the guests. Select the Bud Lights, then from the Item Commands menu, select Split. A window will now display the Bud Lights are split up among all three guests. Select Split to confirm the split. Joining the orders at two tables. To continue with our examples, select Dining Room at the bottom left and then select Table 32. This guest just wants a dessert. Select the dessert, Molten Chocolate Cake, and select Quick Send. The guest at Table 32 wants the guest at Table 24 to join them. Select Table Layout on the bottom right side of the screen and navigate to the Dining Room. Select Table 24 so their order shows in the left panel. Select the top of the left panel to show the ticket commands and select Combine Orders. From the window, select Table 32 to combine with Table 24 and Accept. The orders will now be combined under Table 32 and by selecting Payment at the bottom right side of the screen, each guest will still have their own check as shown at the top of the screen. The guest from Table 32 has elected to pay for everyone. Click the checkbox in each or select and hold Select All from the pop-up menu. At the bottom left, there is also a Combine Checks button that can be used. Removing items from an order. If menu items are accidentally added to a table, they can be removed by selecting the item and then using the Item Commands Remove button to remove the items one by one, or by selecting the top of the left panel and using Ticket Commands, Cancel Changes, which will remove every recently added item that has a green dot and has not been sent. Selecting List Orders at the bottom right shows the order for Table 32 is still there.